Well, I think probably one of the things that makes us most unique and separates us from other radio stations is uh, our diverse staff. Not only is it a student-operated radio station, we have student leadership staff, um, but we also open ourselves up to community members as well. So we have long-standing Wood County Bowling Green community members that have volunteered at this radio station for decades, 20 plus years. Um, and that offers students that get involved a really unique educational experience because you're learning from both your peers um, and upperclassmen that have been working at the radio station for a while, plus these community volunteers that have sort of watched the stations grow and evolve and technology, how, how those things have shifted over the years, um, and instructors such as myself that um, have professional industry experience as well. My name is Sierra Jones Spinning. I'm the executive music director here at WBGU-FM. My job mainly consists of all the music that you'll be hearing on the radio from anything that's indie, current, local, that's mostly what I choose for you. Consists of me also getting a lot of music from many promoters and producers from different areas of the world. I get a lot of things from the UK, which you don't think will be, you know, as current for something that a local town like Bowling Green here is. But some of the music that you might hear in our station consists of those from different countries or either different cities. Uh, the type of music that we play usually fits into the category of independent, underground, or um, underrepresented music. So that's sort of our format. Um, that means that we play a wide variety of genres and niche sort of formats, but we always have a focus on independent artists that don't necessarily get played on mainstream radio and might not have record label representation. We try to give a main focus on local music as, as well, from like bands that would play at our little bar that we have down the street called Howard's. We try to get um, a lot of those artists a chance to be seen as big um, sometimes in the near future, give them a chance to get out there on the radio and get some airplay. Uh, also here at the station, we work with local bands to get them played um, on the radio station during our hours that you mostly would want to hear them. So a college student would want to hear something you know, as they're going out, not something that's like indie or rock at nine o'clock in the morning because that doesn't suit the ear. So right here is our program called ENCO. With ENCO, we actually get the music so I can rip a CD or I can choose some music that we have someone sent to us on SoundCloud. I can get that, bring it to the library. I would go to add and I can either choose CD Ripper, or if I was dragging it from uh, SoundCloud, I would just drag, drag the whole track and put it in here. But say if I had a CD Ripper and I uh, ripped the whole CD, I would change the title of the song, make it to the next of all groups, which would be like we try to focus, like I said, a lot on indie, but I would make it under indie currents or alternative currents. We have different files for different genres of music. Then I would cancel it, and then I would begin ripping the whole CD or track that I chose, and I would, it will be eventually all in here. And in these files, you can see I have Indie, Indie Currents, Indie Gold. We just fixed it so that you can actually have um, the right amount of songs and the right amount of genres played at the right time. We do have a mascot that we, we've determined to be Brandy the Unicorn. Um, and we bring him to promotional events, um, if we're either attending some sort of uh, community event, like the Black Swamp Arts Festival, um, or something happening at, say, the Wood County Public Library, um, or if we're doing something that, like a promotional event that the radio station puts on ourselves. For example, in the fall we did a, a Battle of the Bands event at, at Howard's, a local club here in Bowling Green. So we'll bring Randy out to those events to sort of create awareness and sort of have uh, you know, a silly little face to the radio station.